Hello YouTube, and welcome to Chef Lethal Plays Path of Exile Slow Walkthrough Series. I'm Chef Lethal. Let's get started. Alright, so last time we started and we did some Trials of Ascendancy. We kind of stumbled on into that. Not a bad thing at all. Not bad, not bad, not bad. But now I would like for us to get a move on with the quests here. See if Groost has anything that we can use. He does not. Nope. 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 What about Yina? Yina, you got anything for me? No. Although this lapis uh, amulet is pretty tasty, it costs a currency we don't have. That's unfortunate. That 27 plus 2 intelligence would be really, really, really nice. Unfortunately, we don't have that yet. Running low on wisdom scrolls, that's kind of obnoxious. I can't remember what, what you sell. I think you have to sell unidentified magic items to get uh, wisdom fragments. Try to pick up more blue items. Going to continue on with the, uh, the the situation here to go up to this area from the crossroads to we find our prize. Prize, I mean broken bridge. Hooray! Okay, now Aramir wants me to kill Kratlin. I'm gonna follow the road here. Pop down some walls. Totem those guys to death. And just let, let the work happen. following the road. Oh look, a waypoint. Yay! And a level up. Oh snap. That's what we call a double whammy. Grab those for a chromatic orb. Oh, we got another Aramir, uh, no, Einar situation here. Come on, Einar. All right. You will be a survivor. Good stuff. Ring, I'll grab the iron ring. All right, here's Kratlin. So there are three bandits, and you have the option to uh, either like you have to deal with all three bandits. Um, you can help them, you can kill them. Your travel, I like that. Now, what I don't like. Oak and Alira. And See, he doesn't like mangles. Oak and Alira. So I can help Kratlin and go kill Oak and Alira. And you can see here what it will give us. We'll get some attack speed, chance to avoid elemental ailments, and a little bit of increased movement speed. Uh, I'm going to give you the TLDR 98% of the builds and the build guides for this game will tell you to kill all three bandits because you get two. Count them two passive skill points, and that is more valuable than 6% increased movement speed. There are some situations where you may want to help one of the bandits over another, and then later you can change the outcome of this using some currency and some other items. 
a bit of a pain in the butt. I had to do it one time. But by and large, kill all of them. And we're going to start with Kratlin. Let's watch out for minions. Now we have Einar with us. So that's kind of like the cheat code right there. You may not have him with you. But you might. And you can see he's teleporting around. He's not going to just sit in one spot and let you wail on him. Could be dying very soon here. Vitality got leveled up, so that's cool. Alright, I'm going to stay in this area. Technically, we don't need to. We need to start heading back to the east. But uh, there are more monsters here for me to capture with Einhar, so I'm going to try to finish that. Plus, he's going to help kill everything for me, so... Got to take advantage of that. So I heard that drop, so I wanted to make sure to go back and get it. That too. All of this small currency is so valuable in the beginning of the game. We got three beasts, lump, four beasts lumped together. This is gonna be a fight. That blow, that blue glowing sphere that was on the ground, if you ever see those, get the heck away from it. That is bad news. That will explode and cause massive damage. See, this is, this is pretty wild. I'm gonna do my best here to survive. Ooh. Man. I'm going to try to just kind of tank a lot of these hits. We have a lot of HP. Okay, not that much. <laughs> so they're they're aggro on my on my totem. to sit back and hit him from afar. This is when it's really good to use the frost blink or leap slam to get out of get out of a bind. All right, we got one of them. This is this is pretty crazy, I'm not going to lie. That's a phrase I hate saying, by the way. Like, why would I lie to you about this? But you can see, even with our item filter, we have got a lot of drops right there that, that drop that are good. But they're, they're blocking the way, you know? Blocking my vision. So I can hit Z to hide everything. I 
this is a real tough one. Oh, he's fire. He's fire resistant. That explains why we're having such a hard time here. We just do fire damage. So we just sit here and kind of sit on him a little bit. Make sure the mana is topped up. Wow, that was crazy. I'm gonna try to remember, and, and you'll know if I did it, but I'm gonna try to put that in like four times speed or something, because that was insane. That was absolutely insane. I'm gonna pick up as much of the small stuff as I can. Okay, and all right, mission complete for Einhar. Let me get out of here. That was a mess, dude. All right, so here's here's a trick I kind of mentioned in the last episode. If I just want to head back to town and I don't need to do anything in this area anymore, I'm way away from the waypoint, and I don't want to walk. And let's say I'm low on town portal scrolls. I can just let me pick this up. Uh, I can just go to exit to character selection. Exit to character selection. Go back to my character and back in town. I have seen warriors in black in the east. Investigate the Chamber of Sins. I already did that. It wants me to go back to the Chamber of Sins. This old... Well, that's stupid. Now I gotta go back over there. Alright, we got a bunch of stuff. Um, can unload this. This is a quest item. It's not gonna let me get rid of that yet. Um, I don't think any of this is... E gloves are worth looking into. We lose dexterity and life, but we gain the intelligence that a lot of our our uh, skills need. Uh, these aren't great, but I think technically they're better than what we have. I'll take these out and put the new ones in. And then might as well check these two. No. All right, the rest of this I think I just got as a as kind of a throwaway. So this scepter. Ooh. Okay, luckily the scepter it's not it's not much of a competition. This isn't as good as the one that we have. Uh, if we did physical damage, this would be significantly better, but we don't do a lot of any physical damage, so um okay, so unidentified blue items give us transmutation shards. Identified ones give us alteration shards, and white items give us wisdom. Okay, good to know. And on all this, Goodbye. I need to be picking up unidentified or just white items, just plain old magic items. Level up now that I've got the stats, I can level up my my skills there. And so, and we have a point to use, and we need to head down to Barbarism. This is going to be huge. And look, he gives us plus one to maximum fire resistance. That's awesome. So now our maximum fire res will be 76%. Sweet. We're a mile away from that. We're miles and miles away from doing that, but um, it is what it is. Here's a good example of a uh, an icon I was talking about, I think, in episode one. So there's an, there is a waypoint in the Chamber of Sins, and I have been there. I just did not find and or activate the waypoint. So that's what this little dot inside... Oh, shoot. I clicked on the wrong thing. That's what that little dot indicates, that there's a waypoint there, and I missed it. If it's a full circle and a full circle inside, that means there's a waypoint, and we did get it. So that's good. And then if it's, a, if it's the other one, if it's a circle and it's just blank inside, there is no waypoint there. So I need to go back and find the Chamber of Sins. I can ignore all these dudes. I remember I had mentioned before that, you know, the I, the areas have they're they're semi-random, but in general, it's a pretty safe bet in certain directions you get used to what we're doing. All right, so I need to go to the Chamber of Sins, Intruders in Black. I don't actually know what I'm supposed to be doing here.
But I'm just gonna put down some walls here every, every few groups. See if they die. We're pretty close to a level up here. We got these blue monsters. I, I want to make sure to kind of burn these guys down to get some good XP. I already, I now know that I need to look for white items that that the uh, the item filter is showing us because I need the wisdom scrolls. Let's level up. Good, good strong box there. There's the waypoint that we missed the first time. Okay, ancient reverie device. If you attempt. Okay, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna mess up my my exposition. So no, I don't want to listen to you. Don't actually know. What I'm supposed to be doing here. But I'm sure the answer will reveal itself soon. Away we go. I'm going to hit Quicksilver real quick and see. Is this down to level two? It is. I was already there, but let's see if this is where they want us to go. We did the trials. I wonder if there's something else here that we missed. I mean, there must be, otherwise the quest would, uh, would not be showing. It's worth noting that you can do the quests in any order. You don't need to follow any order. You don't need to do the same order that I'm doing. And you certainly don't need to do in order that shows up in the game. In fact, you can do, you can end up completing quests before you're even officially given them. You just run through the area and do things. So when you talk to somebody, they'll give you the quest and then in the very next moment, allow you to redeem for the rewards. Following the pathways here, looking for the exit, or whatever it is. Oh, here we go. There's piety. Go and test your sinews against that monstrosity. Perhaps two wrongs can make a right. What? Alright, something big is happening, so I'm gonna pop in here and grab this life and elemental resistances, since I don't actually know what in the world we're going to be facing. Oh, there's Helena. Slaughtered everyone. Help me. Okay, Helena's very important. Um, and we'll see about that shortly. But now we get to kill Fidelitas. Where are you? There you oh wow, that's Oh boy. That's that's like that's kind of that's kind of that's kind of creepy. All right, enough goofing around. All right, I'm gonna try to just keep him in front of my totem. Put down some walls of fire. Sit back and hit him with some some magma balls. That wasn't too bad. Grab gem. Okay, and now get my map back, go back and talk to Helena. Piety was after a creation of Melagaro's called the Baleful Gem. It's nearby and it's something that heartless bitch must never get her hands on. Oh. You have it already. Thank innocence. 
All right, take it to the Esmeri village by the river. Right, the Esmeri village is the uh, the south southern village that we call home right now. So that is what we're gonna do. I need to go back to town. I'm gonna take it to care selection and do that. Aha! The Oriathan girl. Bruce is gonna give us a thing. Let's see, do we need any of these? I don't think that we actually are going to be using any of them. So just for the sake of fakes, actually, let me just double check. It doesn't really matter because we're gonna be able to buy these gems if we need them. Herald of Ash. Yeah, okay, we'll take that. Quest complete. And now Yina, we could talk the to. Okay, find the golden hand, and I then gave Helena. The Legion my faith and my loyalty, and it offered me nothing but fear and death in return. <coughs> Thank you for freeing me from both. I have nothing to give you but my gratitude and my knowledge. Piety led us into that wretched place in the hopes of finding a device. The blackguards will never stop pursuing some. Okay, Farewell. so Helena just gave us a crap ton of of missions to do. Thank you for that. As if we weren't busy enough. <laughs> Um, all right, so we can use Herald of Ash, and this is a buff that increases our fire damage, burning damage, yeah. So I'll plop it right there. I don't know. I don't actually know if it's one that I need to continually put on or if it will automatically put itself on. I'm going to replace Mana Flask and sell everything here. Speak. It's not much, but it's. Honest work. One more wisdom scroll out of that. And Silk wants to talk to us. I have story for you. Recover Malagaro's spike from weak chambers. Okay. Cool. Well, um, I feel like that's a pretty good stopping point, so I am going to call it here for today. Uh, thank you, as always, so much for watching, and feel free to hit the subscribe button. Heck, hit the like button if you're feeling spicy. Um, <laughs> all of the links are down below, and I will see you next time.